Let me explain the blue scale to you. The blue scale, again, based on the major scale, we're going to be playing the one, the two, the three flat, the major third, or the three, the four, the flat five, the five, the six, and the flatted seventh. The flatted seventh is called the dominant seventh, and when you play your C seventh chord, you're actually adding the dominant seventh to the flatted seventh to it rather than um, the seventh note of the major scale. So, what were you doing in your left hand? I know you were playing two different kinds of rhythms. One was like a rhythm, and then was like a walking. Well, this is what you call a chopping bass. Chopping bass, okay. I was wondering what they're called. <laughs> this other one is a rolling bass. called It's Me, It's Me, Oh Lord, and it's one of those songs that you learn in elementary school. But I wanted to use it because it's a simple song, a simple tune, and again, we can break it down. I make a chord at this time and this time we're going to have we're going to move down an extra note okay it's the way fats would play it was the meat of that in fact when fats would play this kind of thing he wouldn't actually play this bass line for an intro he would do both hands rolling to make it all the more dynamic. So let's go on to the first person, a man named Moon Mulliken, who actually started a country music sound with the piano. Instead of playing a single note line, he'd play like to show you a little bit of Al Strickland. Okay, now breaking it down into little piece by piece like we did on ha I Had a Little Mule. The way I hear this uh, coming in is again like a trumpet with a little bit of a, a little bit of a gliss pickup to it. But it almost like a yep, pop, pop. That's syncopated, that comes right before the one beat. Ragtime. 